Pakistan is uh, one of the countries in the world most vulnerable to climate change. It ranks fifth on the Global Climate Risk Index. At the same time, Pakistan is one of the youngest countries in the world. 68% uh, of the population is under 30 years of age. Naturally, the future of the planet means a lot to future generations, and it's only natural that youth engage strongly in the issue of climate change and in necessary climate action. We need to use that engagement. We need to use the capacity of the young generation to take necessary action in response to climate change. To do that, we need to give space to youth voices, to youth initiatives. Uh, we need to empower youth and we need to include youth in decisions that affect the climate. UNDP takes a holistic approach in the support to the government of Pakistan uh, for empowerment of youth and for climate action. For example, we have worked with the government to develop a national climate change policy and nationally determined contributions that are youth and gender inclusive. UNDP also believes in a an evidence-based approach, and we have worked with the Minister of Climate Change on a study of youth perceptions on climate change. Based on the findings of this study, we are now working on a gender-inclusive national roadmap for green jobs, which will also include public-private partnerships. UNDP believes strongly in empowering youth in their work for a green and resilient economy. We thank the Minister of Climate Change and the panelists today for their engagement in that cause. We hope that the outcome of the COP26 will take fully into account the concerns expressed by youth, the proposals put forward by youth, and that it will empower youth for future climate action. Thank you.